Police nearly had to break up a fight on the floor of the Tennessee State Assembly over proposed gun control laws. Take a listen. Gun control is, of course, a contentious issue. Perhaps it's a good thing uh, that nobody was packing heat on the House floor yesterday. The legislature came back for a special session to work on red flag laws and other measures. It's been five months since a former student gunned down three children and an educator at a Nashville Christian school. The shooter identified as transgender. Republicans, of course, want the shooter's manifesto released. In fact, a lot of people who aren't necessarily Republicans want it released as well. Uh, the manifesto has not been released yet. You might remember just after the shooting, the House voted to throw out two black lawmakers over an unruly protest that included bringing a bullhorn onto the floor. They have since become a cause de celeb among the American left. Since then, things have deteriorated. It's of course, not every day you see a state speaker in a scuffle with another state representative. Special session uh, achieved next to nothing. Four bills passed. Um, obviously, shall we say, a contentious issue. With us now, Speaker of the Tennessee House of Representatives, Cameron Section. It's good to see you, sir. Um, I appreciate it. The best I could tell is one of the two members who had been expelled, as we watched the video over and over again, kept pushing, putting this sign in your face almost, if, if we look at the video. Make you, make you a little angry? No, it didn't make me angry. What what made angry is I was uh, leaving uh, the diocese, and I was coming down, and they were following me, and then... Uh, I get past the cameraman who's on my left in the green, and then when I get there, Representative Pearson decides to intentionally come up and try to body bump me, which he did. That's what kind of got my dander up, and we exchanged some words, and he got pulled away, fortunately for him. Yeah, let me, I guess what, I, what I'm trying to understand, I, I understand that there's emotions that are high on both sides of this issue, and that's just politics and perhaps politics in America right now. I, I'm wondering what it says and why you think that, especially in Tennessee, you're, you're getting a situation where things are almost coming to, you know, I, mean, I don't know about to blows, but certainly things are getting uh, rather heated in, uh, in a way that they don't need to be. Well, I think what you have is, is that's not the case. We have 99 members. And, and so only two of the members out of the 99 are uh, trying to cause chaos and uh, interactions. Representative Pearson's one of them. Another video later was Representative Jones going up to the diocese after we left and, and, and using the gavel from the speaker to, to talk to the gallery. And so you just have two people on the other side of the aisle who refuse to follow the House rules. Um, and that's what you get. We're going to continue to push through it, work through it. But you have two individuals that's causing the problems. And, and they're not there to do uh, the business or be a, a state mm -hmm. representative. They're just there to promote themselves. All right. Well, you know, in the past, we've asked for uh, Justin Pearson to come on. He's uh, ignored our calls and refuses to. So that's that's up to him. But to be fair, we'll play a soundbite from him. Let you respond. Take a listen. Okay. He started to yell and scream as though we had done something. Representative Jones was pushed by uh, Representative Sapicki as well. We're holding signs and demanding that we protect kids and not guns. Let me ask you this. You think this is really about protecting kids versus protecting guns, or is there something else going on? Well, I can't speak for them, but let me let me say it's always interesting that the two people who instigate everything at the point when they instigate it, they become the victims of their instigation. So, look, we're here to do the, the work of Tennesseans and, and what they want us to do. Obviously, those two have a different priority and a different perspective. Um, that's on them, but we're not going to allow them to, to come up and bump us and pop us and that's not right, and when that happens, we'll we'll have some conversations with them. That's what we had. Uh, things got pulled apart, um, but it happens, unfortunately. You mentioned doing what the people of Tennessee want, and I, I understand that. There's different states that have different views on all sorts of things. When it, After the Covenant Christian shooting, there was such a push for, for more strict gun laws. I'll let you put adjectives to them. Do you think that, that there is an appetite for that in your state, or is this another situation where Republicans play for time to, to keep their base happy and not instigate reforms that would be widely popular? 
Well, I, I don't I don't think that the, the proposals put forth by the Democrat Party about banning weapons, about banning ammunition or magazine sizes is what Tennesseans want. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.